Hey, it's me, TB, and today I'm bringing you something a little bit different. Instead of just unboxing Monster High dolls, today we're going to be unboxing some Bratz dolls because I've been on a little bit of a Bratz kick recently, and they just came in the mail, and I want to, and I want to open them right now. So here we are together. <laughs> These two are both from the Series 2 of the repros that Bratz is doing right now, and we have Kumi on the left and Kiana on the right. I do want all of Series 2, but these are the two that I wanted the most. First up, here is Kumi. I'm pretty sure this, this is her Ooh La La doll, except now she comes with a new pair of shoes, so that's pretty cool. And on the back of the box, um, we can see that we can create over 20 different funky fashion styles. So that's, that's pretty cool. And God, the text is very small, because I'm pretty sure this is the international version of the box. There's a lot of different languages, but it says that, Hey, my name is Kumi. My friends call me Lucky Bug because I'm always checking gold at the mall. Who, go, who goes to a mall these days? Apparently Kumi. So, you know, good for her. And we see that, that she comes with a hairbrush, two pairs of snap-on shoes, a hair accessory, a dress, a jacket, a top, and a bottom. I like that they're all called a fashion blank, which implies that there's, there's a difference between like just a top and like a fashion top. So that's fun. At the very bottom, we can see the Bratz pack and that best friends never look this good. So now we shall be freeing her which is going to be a very weird experience because I only unboxed Monster High recently, and usually Mattel is a lot of, is a lot less, um, we'll say, over the top with their packaging and sealing the doll in. So it will be an interesting new, like, interesting event to unbox a doll from MGA again, you know? So here is Kumi, free, free from her box. Something I noticed is that her hair isn't just black, it is black streaked with, like, brown, it looks like. Um, which is very cute. It appears to be mostly focused in the back, but still it's very interesting. I didn't, and I was not expecting it at all. So love that. And we'll see her top. It says, I kiss Paris. I'm going to assume, you know, is a little, I love Paris, but on mine, the I is a little bit messed up on the little Paris part, but um, that's okay. And I plan on displaying her in her second outfit mostly anyway. So it doesn't really bother me but something for you to maybe look out for, you know? And she's wearing this little like purple jacket, sort of like what's supposed to be like emulating like lace lace and frills all over it, which is very cute. And her skirt is this green, with a little like flower pattern on it, with a little flower and like and looks like leaves going all across it, which looks very cute. And there's a little, and there's a little bottom layer of purple at the very bottom there. I was not expecting to like this outfit as much just seeing it in pictures, but seeing it in person, it really kind of comes together a lot more than you're probably expecting. She's also wearing this little hat that's black. There's that plaid band going on it and little like flowers and plants all over it. Right now it's currently like, you know, stuck to her head, which I pro will probably take off. And for her shoes, her legs are painted to make, little, to make it look like she's wearing tights, little like bands at the very top for her little bows. And her shoes are painted black as well to kind of emulate like she's wearing like stockings, tights, whatever. And weirdly, the, these shoes are like very long. I'm pretty sure I've seen it in other people's reviews as well as that these shoes are very long for a reason because compare them to like her second shoe, um, they are like very long by comparison. It's a few centimeters like longer, you know, which is very weird, but it doesn't look, which, okay, to be honest, brats and heels like this have always looked kind of weird because how weirdly shaped their feet are. But these look extra weird, so that's a thing. But I do like the tights idea. It's very cute and it works with brats. Um, originally, like her original Ooh La La doll had her arms painted black as well, which I did not like, so I'm kind of happy that it's just on the legs, you know? But yeah, now it's time to switch her into her second outfit. So here is Kumi in her second outfit. Of course, the hat is still on because, you know, I'm not going to take it off right now. And I forgot to say this earlier, but there is some product in her hair, so, so you will probably need to, like, wash that out, um, which is weird because her hair is straight, so, like, why she need product in it, you know? Um, but yeah, it's there. Yeah, her second outfit is this dress with these red shoes, and I still vastly prefer this look over her first one. Um, I actually, I actually like seeing her in red. So yeah, and I've never gonna change to say this like on video yet, but I love brat shoes because of how they like snap on. I don't know why. It just feels very satisfying to like to like snap on a foot, you know. And to be honest, I think I think it's like my like preferred like doll shoe is these like snapped on feet. It just feels much easier compared to like having to put on a shoe on a rainbow high doll, you know. So yeah, just a weird personal thing for me. I just also love that even though their arms aren't articulated in the elbows or anything, they're still very flexible. So it's not like a total pain in the ass to kind of put on their dresses or whatever, you know? It's, it's like the small things, but still. Definitely going to be what I keep my Kumi in. But I just love her in red, you know? 
But yeah, that is Kumi. That is their lucky bug for the Bratz girls. Here she is, and she's beautiful. Now we are on Kiana. So here is Kiana in the box. I'm pretty sure Kiana was part of the Wild Wild West line, I'm pretty sure. And she only made an appearance in that one line. So this is like another chance to get her because as you can probably guess, with the rise of people like overpricing their dolls online, um, she, was, she was very expensive. But of course now there's repro, so it's easier to get her. So again, this is the international version of the box. So again, create 20 different looks, blah, blah. But we can see that, howdy, my name is Kiana. My friends call me Outlaw Diva because my looks are so good, it should be illegal. So yeah, same stuff. Brett's pack, same stuff, yeah. So yeah, another thing is that I think her and Kumi didn't have little symbols before, but now they do because of the repros. So that's pretty cool. So now I shall unbox Kiana. So now here's Kiana in her first outfit, as well as her little cowboy hat. And weirdly compared to Kumi, her hair has like no product in it at all which is what I would expect because, you know, her hair is straight. But still, apparently, Kumi got it anyway. Um, so, yeah, weird choice, but okay. So her top is just, is just a little, like, denim top with little um, with little silver dots all over it, which I assume are supposed to represent buttons. But, yeah, very cute. I'm going to be honest. And she's wearing this little belt with a silver buckle on, with a silver buckle on it, as well as little turquoise beads all over it. And her skirt is just this little, like, fringe thingy, um, which is a very short skirt. But, you know, slay. And then her boots are a dark blue, it looks like, as well as kind of like light blue accents. So that's very cute. And I'm pretty sure Kiana is the only Native American brat, because I think she's black and Native American, I want to say. At least that's what someone I once read someone say on, like, social media. So that might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she is. Such a little fun fact about Kiana for you. But now I shall switch her into her second outfit. Which again, I think is probably my preferred one for her, but I'll probably experiment around um, in the future. So yeah. So here is Kiana in her second outfit. Again, with a little cowboy hat, because I think I think it looks very cute on her. So her top is this very tiny um, light blue top, which is barely covering her chest right now. That's how tight it is, which might be a sewing error on mine, because how small it is or how tight it is, um, or it might be just how it's made. But it is very tight on her. And it is a struggle to get it to fit right without exposing her chest. So let's just keep that in mind. She's wearing these pants, um, which I have, no idea, I have no idea what you would call them, but they're brown pants. There is like a pattern of like a darker and lighter brown all over them. And it's very cute in person. And the camera is not doing it justice. So I how like, pretty it is. So there are little dots all over it and they kind of catch light. So it's very pretty to see. And her belt is actually part of this outfit. So you cannot remove it, but it's basically just a few strips of fabric with little flowers on it, with little turquoise beads on it again, because the belt in the first outfit was in fact removable. So you wanted to use it in a different doll, you could. But this one, it is part of her pants. And then her shoes are these little um, brown heels with a little bit of turquoise on them. And turquoise is my is my favorite color. Of course, you know, I do love Kiana a lot just because of her usage of a turquoise in her outfit. I actually do have a doll from Kiana's main line, the Wild Wild West. This is Wild Wild West uh, Yasmin, I'm pretty sure, and randomly just, just got her used. So that is why she's a little bit beat up. And as you can see, um, originally the Wild Wild West line did with real eyelashes. Kiana's reproduction does not have those. And personally, I am happy with that because I do not like it when Dami, whenever dolls have those actual more realistic eyelashes they just never really look right to me and like doll producers are, are to get so many things wrong in the midst of production do i really want their job to be even harder like they struggle to do hair right sometimes so don't really want them to try and do like eyelashes correctly you know but yeah they look very cute together um so yeah it's kind of like um solidifies for me that i do not like when dolls have real eyelashes but i still do prefer kiana um just because those real eyelashes just don't look the greatest even when they are done right. But yeah, I do love the Wild Wild West line. It's a very cute line. So hopefully I'll be able to find more of those in the future. But for now, I just have Kiana and Yasmin. So that was my review of these two Series 2 Bratz reproductions. Um, we have Kiana and Kumi with us. And if you have any questions, I can probably answer those down below. Um, I'm pretty sure I've covered everything I wanted to talk about, as well as showing off with their outfits. So yay. But that's all from me. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe, like, share, all of that. Hopefully I will see you next week.